Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good day today. Uh, it's Tuesday. Uh, we've had a, a, an eventful several days here as uh, we had Christmas Eve, then Christmas, and uh, we've kind of moved into this new week. Yesterday we had the service for Lois Hale, and uh, it was a good time of remembering. Lots of good stories, lots of uh, laughter. Uh, there's tears too, but we're thankful that uh, Lois is is now home with the Lord, and we just entrust her into His hands and look forward to the day that we can, uh, uh, you know, we can be with her again. Uh, such a sweet lady. Well, I want to share with you. Uh, go back to our YouVersion Bible app and the Bible.com, and uh, just over the next few days, there's there's a uh, a series uh, called Better, and it's kind of talking about uh, uh, you know how we can be be better heading into a new year and sort of analyze where we've been and where we're headed. And it's kind of an in-between uh, kind of thing. And um, uh, it's uh, a good little short devotional. It's like I, said, I think it's like four days. And so we'll just do this uh, as we can here in the next few days. And uh, you can tell I'm in my office. Our family plans have, have kind of gone out the window. We're not sure exactly what we're doing as far as uh, vacation time, but uh, uh, but for now, we'll be doing this this here. Uh, well, this is called Better, and it begins. It opens up with a prayer, and I, I think it's a good. This, this whole this whole uh, uh, study is good. Uh, it says, "Prayer, God, open my eyes to the areas of my life where You want me to live more abundantly by living more in line with You." Uh, that that is a, a a great prayer for us to pray, and and as we wrap up this year and head towards next year. Uh, you know, help me, Lord, to live more in line with you, what you have for me. And I, I think that's just a, a good prayer that really we should have been praying all along throughout 2020. This year has been so full of ups and downs and uh, backwards and forwards and everything else. And and if we're in line with the Lord, everything just, just has a way of, of working out. We never know, you know, like this vacation that we we're supposed to be taking, we thought we were going to be able to do it, and then we thought, well, maybe not, and then we thought we were, and and and, and then maybe not, and, and anyway, uh, you know, it's it's okay that we're, if we're living in the Lord's will, we know the Lord's in charge, we know, you know, for whatever reason, he didn't, uh, we don't have to know the reason, uh, but for whatever reason, he, uh, you know, didn't want that to happen right now, and so, so we just look to him, and we just, just again, want to live more and more in line with his will. Here's the, the the reading, the devotional that goes along with this. It's called The Abundant Life, and this was written by Jeff Henderson. And uh, uh, he didn't do all of them, uh, but uh, he did this one. It says, when the new year comes around, everyone starts thinking about how to make the next year better than the last. How are you doing? How are you going to do that? I just want to put my cards on the table and tell you that I believe your Heavenly Father wants this year to be better for you than last year. And here's why. He wants your life to work. Jesus said that one of the reasons he came here is so that we, you and me, would be able to live life abundantly. John 10.10. 10. That's, that's one of my very favorite verses in life. He came to give us life and life to the full, the, the abundant life. I, I think that's that's what he wants for us. And, and so... When, when struggles come, we just, okay, Lord, we know you're, you're in this, and somehow you're going to make me better through that. And so, you know, we just want to think about how we can make this next year better and, and deal with whatever comes. It, it may be better, it may be worse in 2020. I, I think one of the things that I, I've uh, seen is uh, some memes on, online that, that sort of have uh, 2021 looking scared under the the uh, the pressure that it, people are putting on it to be better than than 2020, and because 2020 has been so bad, but uh, um, you know it, it's not about that. It's about seeking the Lord, living in line with Him. The the devotional goes on to live more abundantly this year. We need to think about where we haven't where we haven't been living well in the past. There are five categories that encompass most of our living. Financial, relational, physical, work, and spiritual. Let me say those again. Financial, relational, physical, work, and spiritual. Uh, those five ways are all different areas of our life that we that we live in, that we work in. Uh, 
So let's think about these five areas and determine where you've lost some momentum. And I think that's appropriate for us to think about. I think we've probably all, we've all lost momentum in those areas in every, uh, you know, this past year, we've all lost momentum in them. So think about where you are slacking off or being challenged. And I, I think we're being challenged in, in any number of ways. And that's one of the reasons as I read this the first time. I thought, you know, this is appropriate for where we're at as we begin thinking about 2021. You know, what are some ways we can maybe deal better with the virus? Uh, be, deal better with with maybe we if we have to be home more. How can we make our you know self spiritually better or emotionally better or physically or any of those ways financially? What changes can I make that 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 make it easier for us, make it better for us? Um, you know, this is if you want to make this year better than last. There's probably one area or something within one of those five areas where you might say you could do better. You may look at last year and say, my spending sure outpaces my savings. That's not a great trajectory. I need to change that. I need to work on that. I need to be better at that. Or there may be a relationship that's faltering. Do you need to invest more time in it? Or is it physical? Maybe you need to eat more broccoli. Uh, we don't necessarily want to do that. But, but if, for our health, if we want a better year physically, we need to take those steps. We can't just keep eating the same old stuff and expect there to be some kind of some kind of change. Maybe it's your career. Do you need to get better at receiving feedback at work? How you deal with that? How do you deal with other people at work? Or can you finally start that business you've always wanted to start? Perhaps it's spiritual. Do you need to learn how to rely more on God? Uh, I think that's for sure uh, for all of us. We all need to rely more on God and stop. Uh, I talked a lot in the last part of the year uh, about wisdom, living in God's wisdom. And and I, I think we we need that in every area of our life to live uh, more with more of a reliance on God. And he'll help us in all these different areas that, that we have. It says here, the first step to knowing how to have a better year is to ask yourself those hard questions. You need to really figure out what isn't working in your life right now and start taking steps to change it. What steps can you take right now to make your life better? Live more fully, or live more in the full life that God has for you, that he wants for you. Then there's this area of reflection. It says analyze the five areas of your life. Again, these five things, your financial, relational, physical, work, and spiritual. Uh, those five areas, just analyze those five things. And I know some of you may be retired or whatever. Uh, insert something else there in work and in, in how you're living your life. And analyze those. And, and how can you be better in those things? How can you better walk with the Lord or, or live in line with what the Lord has for you in those five areas? Again, financial, relational, physical, work, and spiritual. Where in the where within these areas could you do things better in the coming year? Ask God to help you to determine a best next step. Uh, what step can you take today or tomorrow or this week that will help you be better uh, in 2021? Well, let's pray together. Lord, uh, thank you for this little devotional that uh, I know it's spoken to me. Uh, you're sort of analyzing my life. Where can I be better? What steps can I take to be more in line with you? We all need to do that. You have, you want for us the abundant life, the life that is full, that is uh, dependent on you. Lord, help us to do that. And especially in these five areas, help us to analyze them and uh, just find your path for us moving forward. There's so much uncertainty, but there are things that we're certain about that we can uh, look to you and, and, and build Build strength into those areas. Lord, help us in this. Help us as we wrap up 2020 and as we head towards 2021. Uh, Lord, just lead, guide, and direct us. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Continue to be with uh, those that are dealing with the coronavirus. Uh, Lord, be with doctors and nurses and first responders. Lord, protect them. Give them strength. Give them courage. Uh, help them in these days. Lord, we thank you that... Uh, uh, the uh, vaccine is even headed here to town uh, close, and we just pray that that will uh, just do its job, that it will be effective at uh, helping us get, get back to, to some kind of a, of a better normal. 
And so, Lord, we just ask your blessing on that. Use it uh, in people's lives, Lord. We pray that there won't be any problems with it. And, Lord, we just, just commit all of that to you. Be with those in nursing home, those that are homebound. Uh, Lord, just help them all. We, we also lift up uh, the Hale family. Thank you for the service yesterday. And just continue to be near them, comfort them. We also lift up the Bender family. We pray that you would continue to be, be near to them, Lord. Uh, help them as they uh, mourn the loss of Kay. Uh, Lord, just, just be with these families. Be with all those that are hurting, those that are uh, continuing to deal with the virus in different ways. Lord, we lift them to you. Uh, thank you for your, your love, for your grace, for all that you do for us, all the good things we have in our life, everything all of those are from you, and so we thank you, Lord, today for that. Uh, continue to be with us. Lead, guide, and direct us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So what are you going to do differently uh, today and the days moving ahead in your financial, your relational, your physical, your work, and your spiritual life? What can you? How can you be better? Hey, have a great rest of your day, and we'll be back with uh, number two of these devotionals tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.